Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you guys how to make an easy sloppy joe. Um, my family don't really like the manwich from the can, so I learned how to make our own. So I'm just going to show you uh, the ingredients. I have a pound of ground beef, 85% lean, 15% fat. We got an onion. I'm going to use a half of this. Um, I'm going to use a half of this red pepper because I kind of like the little redness in the sloppy joe. And I'm going to use a half of this too, this green pepper. And a little bit of brown sugar. Um, and then I'm going to use this Worcestershire sauce. And then tomato sauce. I will put a little bit of tomato paste in there, but you can also put um, ketchup in it. And then uh, just a regular hamburger bun. That's what we're gonna use. All right, so let's go ahead and cut up our onions and peppers. And let's cut up our peppers. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a half. Just a pound. My kids are very picky, so um, this meal, one of the boys will eat this. The girls will not eat this. So, but even uh, my younger son, he will eat this, but if you have the vegetables so big in it, he might not like it. So I'm gonna try to cut them a little smaller so I think he can be able to eat some. But like I said, the girls will not eat this. My husband and the boys, Julian and Justin, will eat this, but not the girls. The girls are very picky. So we'll just go ahead and chop this up. And then uh, we'll be able to cook our meat. So let me just go ahead and chop it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start on cooking our meat. All right, so we're almost done with uh, the red peppers. We are going to go ahead and cut up our green peppers. You know, I'll just do half, maybe less than half. Yeah, because I did a lot of uh, red ones, so we just do. So yeah, like I was saying, my my boys, especially my younger son is so picky that if he sees like vegetables in his food, he won't want to eat it. But if you cut it a little smaller, you'll be able to eat it. So it's kind of tough when you have all these kids that likes different things or that are so picky. There are certain things my girls will eat, the boys will not eat. My oldest is not very picky, um, but my youngest three, they are very picky. Like my daughter, my both daughters will not eat hamburger at all. So, and when they eat hot dog, they eat it with the, just a, the hot dog, not with the bun. So they can, they are very picky. All right, so we're almost done cutting the grain. Uh, peppers uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, cut our onion and we're just going to use half of this All right, so we're just gonna cut our onion in small pieces. And what we 
we're gonna do once uh, the meat is cooked we'll go ahead and once the meat is little cooked we'll go ahead and put this in in the sloppy joe all right so now we have all our vegetables cut we got our red peppers our green peppers and our onion now let's move on to cooking our meat again i've got a pound of ground beef we're going to use that all right so we have our saucepan and we are going to turn the stove on medium heat and then i am going to spray the bottom with pan All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our meat. And we'll start to season. I'm gonna use my seasoning salt as usual. Just put a little. And then I'm gonna put a little black pepper. I'm gonna add a little salt, again, to bring the flavor together, just a little. So we'll break it apart. So you don't really want plums in here so that's why it's so important that you gotta keep trying to pull them apart starting to cook so you just gotta keep stirring it I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more seasoned salt. So like I said, it's very important to continue to like break it apart because you don't want clumps in your slop sloppy joes. Okay. So as you can see, most of the red is going so you're gonna see like brown. But so we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and add our uh, vegetables. So we need the vegetable to cook. So let me just go ahead and uh, add the vegetables. Okay. So we have our onions, our, pep our red peppers, and our green peppers. Just gonna go ahead and put that in to our dish. Sometimes some people like drains the grease from this but that's not much grease in here so I, I don't usually do that that's why i try to get it a little bit lean so i don't have to do that so i just go ahead and add this Just gonna stir it together. So 
So we'll just continue to uh, let it cook down. So we're gonna keep stirring it so that we they cook evenly. I might have to turn the heat down just a little bit more because I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. All right, before I cover it up, I'm gonna just add a little bit of liquid, like just water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our uh, our tomato. I'll just put a little water in it. And I used 15 ounces. So you can see right there, 15 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of tomato paste. And you can add ketchup too if you want. But just a little tomato paste. And then I'll add a little bit of this Worcester Shire sauce. You can measure if you want, but I don't usually measure it. I just put a little bit and then I try and see how it tastes. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, brown sugar. My kids don't really like it sweet, so I just go ahead and just add a little bit. And I will try and see how sweet it is because I can always add more. All right, so I added um, some brown sugar, but I just tried it and it wasn't so sweet. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Again, my kids don't like it too, too sweet. So that's why I don't put too much brown sugar in it. But if you like it sweet, you can go ahead and put some more sugar in it. A little bit of this sauce in it. It give it that tarty kind of taste to it. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. So we're gonna just let it cook down a little. Okay, you don't want it so runny, but you don't want it so thick either. So we'll just uh, let it cook down just a little bit more. And pretty much that's it. It doesn't take long or it does, it's not very hard to make sloppy joes. It's very easy. You don't need that many ingredients at all. So, yeah, so anybody can make this. But again, let's just let it uh, simmer, simmer down a little. And then I will go ahead and show you guys how we put on the bread. So as you can see, it's kind of watered down a little. So again, I'll just let it cook down just a little few more minutes. It is looking good. All right, so as you can see, our sloppy joe is ready. Let's go ahead and plate it. We'll go ahead and put on the buns and I'll show you guys how it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and plate this. So we have our sloppy joe. It's called Sloppy Joe for a reason, because it's sloppy. Just put it right there. 
And you can put as much as, as you like or as little as you like. See, it's all sloppy, so it's spilling all over the place. All right, so that's our sloppy jaw. And then we'll just go ahead and add this to the top. And you have, I think I did it the other way. It doesn't matter. I'll just turn it over. So that is our sloppy jaw. Let me bring it closer so you can see, see? It's peppers, you can see the red peppers there. The meat, onions. That's the sloppy Joe. All right, so Justin is gonna try for us. He's gonna be our guinea pig. What do you think? It's good. Yeah, is it too sweet or is it just right? Okay. All right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and comment. Let us know what you think. And we really appreciate you guys. So I guess I will see you guys in our next video. Make sure you try this. This is very, very good. Your family will love it. Your kids will love it. So please uh, try this recipe. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.